friends, I'm J Max. Welcome back to the channel. This is J Max Reacts. Today I'm watching a video by a straight commentary that says Tate McRae's album came and went. Let's see what they have to say. Hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. This is Straight Facts Commentary where I give you my unpopular opinions and everything pop culture. So please, please, please stick around and subscribe for more. Hey y'all, I'm back again with another video. And in today's video, you see the title, you see the title, we're gonna be speaking about Tate McRae. So if you're interested in Tate McRae, pop, hip hop, conspiracy theories, trending topics, female rap, anything I really feel like discussing, then go on ahead and subscribe and let's get into this video. So if you clicked on this video, then you obviously know who Tate McRae is. She's insanely popular. She's been all over the place for her new singles, Greedy, Exes, and even still, You Broke Me First. I still hear that song around occasionally. And she's just a really charismatic character. Like she seems funny, she seems cool. Yeah. She's a brilliant dancer, everything like that, right? So she dropped an album. I heard a little bit of buzz around it when it first dropped, and I honestly haven't heard anything since. Like honestly, Tate McRae's album and her overall hype and conversation online kind of came and went, at least in this present moment. Like, mm. I'm really in tune to pop, I'm really in tune to pop culture, hip hop, R&B, like I'm kind of all over in the spaces of music and I haven't seen anybody really talking about this album since it dropped. Okay. It has 13 tracks on it. I listened to it personally and I couldn't really find too many standout tracks on the album oh outside God. of the singles that blew up that are super memorable because I constantly hear them all the time. Okay. But outside of that, there wasn't anything that I can really take away from this album that was just you know, brilliant or remarkable. And I just remember seeing online in the onset of Tate McRae's kind of breakout moment with her hit singles that she has currently right now, people comparing her to Britney Spears and saying mm -hmm. that she's this and that and Christina Aguilera and da da da. And there was just so much like explosion on my like for you pages on like Twitter and Instagram. Like all I could see was Tate McRae. And I had no idea who she was because I had never looked her up or even knew who she was before, you know, she blew up into, okay. you know, the mainstreamness of it all. And I don't see those conversations at all now. Like, it's like they were there when Greedy and Exes came out. And now I don't see them at all. They were there, like, when she dropped the music video that was very reminiscent of, like, 2000s Britney and Christina Aguilera. You know, the video where she was in those, like, little panties and she was dancing around. <laughs> I don't know if they were panties or... <laughs> In the cowboy like, boots. Cowboy are they panties no. or shorts? You know, you know what video I'm talking about. The video where she was like all glossy and greased up and she looked like Christina Aguilera in the 2000s. You know what I mean? <laughs> when that video came out, that is where I was just starting to see her name out a lot more. And I watched the video and I was like, oh, I get it. Oh, I get it. I get what the hype is about. I get it. She's a brilliant dancer. Her song is good. It's a hit song. Mm -hmm. And everybody was like talking about Tate like she was on the tip of everybody's tongues at that point um so I was just like oh okay her album dropped I didn't even know that it dropped until a little bit after it came out already and then I hadn't heard anything about the album since then mm. the only thing I'm still hearing about Tate McRae is her singles that are out right now um and so I went to go check because I was curious to see like okay how did the album do you know what I mean just like sales -wise. okay so Think Later debuted at number four on the U.S. Billboard 200 earning mm -hmm. 66,000 equivalent album units the first week and 8,000 were pure sales. Now, I don't think that this is bad at all. Like, Tate McRae is a new artist, at least to the mainstream. I know right. she had been making music, like, well before she dropped this album. Yeah. But in terms of her mainstream breakout, this is her mainstream breakout where all the eyes were on her. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think this is too bad. Other artists who have had to put out mainstream debut albums have done worse. So this is not bad at all. My issue with this isn't the sales or, you know, the equivalent units or the pure sales or any of that. My issue is I just don't hear anybody talking about this album. Like, for example, you know, we've had other girls who are like more or less in the mainstream-ish who have put out work that we are hearing about, that people are raving about or praising, like recent albums that have come out. And Tay McRae is just not one of them. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I would have thought it would have been an album that people were talking about because Tay McRae has been really popular and like in everybody's mouths and on everybody's minds, at mm -hmm. least the last, you know, 
few months from what I thought. And it seems like the industry was propping her up to be like the next big pop it girl. You know what I'm saying? At least that's the vibe that I got yeah. from seeing her everywhere when I didn't know who she was at all. And I was seeing her. So I'm thinking, okay, that means the media is putting her out here because I have never searched for this woman before. Okay. Even though the album didn't sell terrible its first week, it doesn't seem like many people are really paying attention to this album. I haven't heard anybody talk about the songs off of it or really get into like, oh my gosh, this is a great body of work. Like, I haven't been hearing that. And I keep my ears to the pop streets specifically, and I just haven't heard it. So you guys let me know, like, are you guys streaming Tate's album? Like, what did you think of it? What do you think the public perception of Tate is at this point? Yeah. Where is she going next? Is she going to be putting out another album? Is she going to be putting out some more singles? Like, I'm curious to see what she's going to do, because it seems like she kind of dropped this album and then it kind of went radio silent. So I went to go check her Instagram just now in between editing this video to see if there's any updates in regards to her album that she just dropped or a future one. And her last post was just of her showing, hey, my album's out now, go listen to it or whatever. And then the post before that was a, a tour, apparently. It said world tour 2024 for, you know, the album that she just dropped. And I was like, what? <laughs> She's going on a world tour already? this year supposedly i was like whoa um that's crazy um and it was a lot of dates on there so this is the tour picture oh wow this is amazing that's a lot of dates so let me know are you guys copying the tickets to go to see her on tour and let me know what you guys thought of her album me personally i didn't care for the album like really at all okay. so i am gonna go ahead and see and tune in to see whatever she drops next or whatever she does next because i love pop music so i'm gonna be in tune to pretty much anything that's going on in pop <laughs> let me know what you guys think about this whole thing and uh, your thoughts on Tate McRae, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Okay. So I didn't talk much throughout that one. I made sure to put something at the beginning for people who don't like to like watch somebody watch a video. But my thoughts on this, and I clicked on the on the, um, the video because the out the title threw me off a little bit. I was like, huh? Because it's an album I listen to every day, <laughs> realistically, and um, this to me, this video speaks to how algorithm plays a role in how we consume a lot of things. So what? She, how she was introduced to Tate McRae is not how I was introduced to Tate McRae. I was introduced to Tate via Spotify. Um, the first song I ever heard about her was called Stupid, and I fucking love that song. But where this person's, uh, this commentator's first introduction to her was through social media and stuff like that. After Stupid, I didn't realize how many other songs by her I just kind of playlisted here and there, and they would just get played when they were in the playlist until her album came out and I heard Greedy and I was like in love with Greedy and I was like, who is this girl? Like that's craziest thing was playlisting the hell out of her for years just cause I love the, the vibe of the music but I was not in tune with the person. And then when I finally connected the dots, I was like, I've been listening to this girl's music since 2019 <laughs> and didn't know it. But Think Later to me is a dope ass album. And again, speaking to the algorithm, maybe it's because I interact with the album every day. I see so many commentators talking about it from people breaking down her live versus studio vocals to people talking about it. She didn't ex Britney, this, that, or the third. So I've seen it, you know what I mean? But that's just me. And I'm probably in that subset of people that are, that are fans who interact with the content enough to see it. So I don't feel like the album came and went, but then when I look at the tour piece where we're asking like, is she supposed to be on the tour? All of those dates, most of those dates are in different countries. So I think she probably hit a very massive international market. And that's probably why we see her going on a world tour versus like a States tour. Um, but yeah, I've seen everything from the good, the bad, the ugly, the positive, negative, everything surrounding the album. I see people say it's boring to them, but then other people are like, I love these songs, I love those songs. My favorite song on the album is definitely Hurt My Feelings. <laughs> like, Greedy is that girl, X is as dope as fuck, but Hurt My Feelings, Guilty Conscience, and Grave, those are three of my favorite songs on the album. Um, yeah, you know, this one was just, it hit me because I'm, I'm a fan. I listen to the music, I really like the album, and I was like, I don't know if I agree with that. I don't agree with that, but I can understand from the lens of someone who's not interacting with the content on a day-to-day -day basis it probably did just come and go to them so <laughs> so yeah those are my opinions but let me know what you thought about it below comment like subscribe until next time peace